Hi, Vapchan here. Some of my critics have been claiming I'm divorced from reality. You want to see me divorced from reality, here you go. I'm doing a video on the Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect, if you don't already know by now, is when a group of people all remember something wrong in the exact same way. Once again, you probably already know this, but it's named after the fact that lots of people remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s, when, in fact, he was freed and became president of South Africa and didn't die until 2013. A lot of people try to explain the Mandela effect away with the idea of false memories. But don't forget that the False Memory Syndrome Foundation was created by a woman who wanted to cover up for her nonce husband by claiming her daughter's accusations were just bad memory. I've got a lot of Mandela effects, but in this video, I'm going to stick to the really widespread ones that apply to me, and save the more niche and personal ones for a future video of people like this one. Now, let's get into it. Starting off with a light one, what color is C-3PO's right leg? Gold like the rest of him, right? Nope, his right leg is silver now. You might think, they changed it for the special editions, or he got it in Empire after he had to be repaired. Nope, even in the original cut of A New Hope, it's silver and always was. I first noticed the leg change around 2009 or 2010. I bought a new action figure of C-3PO, and when I took it off the card, I noticed his leg was silver. I thought it looked kind of weird, but I didn't think too much of it until I learned about the Mandela Effect years later. Now, a big part of the Mandela Effect is residue a physical object that looks the same as the way people remember the thing that's been affected. Nearly every toy of C-3PO made before the later aughts have him fully gold. Another color-related Mandela effect involves Pikachu's tail. What does Pikachu's tail look like? I don't know about you, but until a couple of years ago, his tail looked like this. But now it looks like this, and always has. I had a bunch of Pikachu toys as a kid, and watched the anime pretty often when it was in syndication, and Pikachu without the black tail tip looks so wrong to me. What's even weirder about this to me is, I specifically remember for a while, after all the male Pikachu's tails had changed, the females still had the black heart on their tails. But now, that's just the cosplay Pikachus, and not just the female ones in general. Weird. Next, a darker one. Viewers. What do you remember happening to the Lindbergh baby? I had always heard that, after he was kidnapped, they never found him. There are a lot of jokes in cartoons that hinge on this. And apparently in the 80s, a lot of people were claiming to be him grown up. But now, he was found dead a couple of months later. And they even published a picture of his corpse on the front page of the Daily News. The place where I first heard the Lindbergh baby was officially dead was, strangely, in a documentary about Maurice Sendak, in which Maurice attributed how weird he was to seeing the corpse picture as a kid. It's a pretty bizarre documentary in general. Check it out if you want to hear Maurice recounting his parents trying to abort him as a joke! <laughs> Another morbid one. I'm sure you all know Shirley Temple. Even if you've never seen one of her movies, if you're my age or a couple of years younger or older, you saw the advert for the box set of her movies on Cartoon Network every day. But for me and a lot of other people, there was always an undercurrent of darkness to seeing her because we all knew she died really young. I personally remember her dying of scarlet fever or some kind of other old-timey disease. And I remember as a kid hating the movie Cats Don't Dance because I thought it was in poor taste to portray a character based on a dead kid as a racist... speciesist? Bully. I also remember when I first started hearing that she didn't actually die. I can't remember the exact year, but I was high school aged. I started hearing people talking about Shirley Temple Black and the fact that she was some kind of government official. And every time they would bring this up, I would just start feeling horrifically sick. This was years before people started talking about the Mandela Effect, so I didn't know there were other people who still had the same memory as me. One final Mandela Effect that's a lot lighter. The ending of It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Yes, I know this is seasonally inappropriate. I, and a lot of other people, remember a different ending. Linus falls asleep, and the shadow of the Great Pumpkin slowly rises up from the pumpkin patch. In the current timeline, there's still a shadow rising up, but it happens earlier in the cartoon and it turns out to be Snoopy. The Great Pumpkin appearing at the end is a common Mandela effect, but I have a more personal twist on it. 
How many of you have seen The Halloween Tree, that 90s special with Leonard Nimoy as the Grim Reaper? Well, for a cartoon that was apparently shown every year and was apparently very popular, I don't remember ever seeing it as a kid. It's even based on a novel by Ray Bradbury, so you'd think I would have been shown it in school when the teacher was hungover or something. But I never even heard anybody talk about it until 2012 or 2013. <laughs> what does this have to do with The Great Pumpkin? Well... In this timeline, Ray Bradbury wrote the original novel of The Halloween Tree because he was disappointed that The Great Pumpkin never showed up in the Peanuts special. I don't know what this proves, but it's interesting to me nonetheless. Well, that's all for now. Have a good day, viewers, and please don't think I'm completely nuts for talking about this stuff.